coming here for, I don't know, 22 years and there's always something slightly different about every flight. The combination of winds are different, weather's a bit different, you find little, little places that you've never been to before. Um, you never land in the same place twice and everyone's a, a story. Every, every time it's an adventure, it's brilliant. My 25th trip to Chateauday, but before you come to Chateauday, you, you, you have to know how to fly. You, you, you wouldn't put a baby pilot up here. Um, so I learned to fly in England. Um, I got my license 26 years ago, 27 years ago. And um, you, you practice, and then you, you, if you're lucky enough, you get an invitation to come to Chateauday. and you watch others and you, you listen to stories um, and your first few years you, you, you bimble gently around the valley and you, you don't go over the peaks unless you have to and then you probably don't like it when you do. When you get above the peaks and the valley winds are going one way and the wind above the peaks going another way you can get wind shear and that can be tricky. Tricky getting out of it, tricky getting into it. Um, finding landing spaces when you're running out of fuel because valleys are fine, but they're also full of rivers, roads, and wire. Um, and so, yeah, every, um, every time it's different. <laughs> and the Met man said that the wind was very clearly um, in the bottom of the valley would take us down towards Guria um, and we'd start our trip by flying towards the west. We lifted off, we were first off, which is exactly where we wanted to be for the competition, um, and they were 180 degrees wrong. I suppose it's the unpredictability, isn't it? We all live fairly ordered lives. And today we've set off to do an event to one specific place and the whole 80 balloons of us can't manage it. And, but we're gonna make a, lo a lovely day of what we have got. We'll enjoy it. We're out in the open, beautiful scenery um, and a test of skill. Yes, we're 2,000 feet above the, the valley floor, um, which, which is at 3,000 feet. So we're 5,000 feet above sea level, um, and just you know, just clearing the top of the peaks. This is what alpine flying is all about. <laughs> field we're just approaching now, there are horses out on, on sunny days and maybe this afternoon when the sun gets into the valley and they'll just look at us and walk around the field and in England they would hear us coming a mile off and they'd be in the next parish by the time we got to them. Oh, they're actually they're just to the left. No, now they've moved off now. Behind that range is not nice to land, there's Les Avants and the steep hills, woods.
Well, Englishmen, everyone knows Englishmen like a cup of tea, and unfortunately I haven't got a cup of tea here, but a Cornish cream tea to a Cornishman is like manna from heaven. Delicious. Are you disappointed that you didn't reach Gruyere? Yes, it would have been nice, you know, since we were told that was what the competition was. It would have been very nice to do it. From what I've seen, I don't think anybody got anywhere near Gruyere, five kilometres away. We'll still be in the lead, because nobody can have scored anything so far today. Many, many years we haven't won anything at all, and then sometimes we get lucky. Just being here in the wonderful sunshine and the snow and the blue sky is fabulous. Thank you everyone. Thanks. Sorry about it.